Hello and welcome to another ARC tutorial. Today we're going to be sharing with you everything you need to know about taming. This is somewhat of a beginner video, but if you're an experienced player, there might be something you didn't know in here since we'll be going very in depth. Before we jump into it though, I want to let you know that I stream ARC every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8pm Central Time on Twitch. Links for that are in the description if you're interested. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video at the end if you found this content helpful. Let's jump into it. As a new player walking around the arc, you may be asking yourself, what's this dino? What's that dino? How do I get a dino? What dinos are good? These are all valid questions and you shouldn't feel stupid for asking them. That's what people like me are here for, right? I'm gonna be honest with you, there's kind of a lot to learn about taming dinos, like taming effectiveness, torpidity, taming duration, and so on. To start this off, there are two different ways to tame certain dinos that you should know about. Knockout tames and passive tames. Both have very special requirements that you'll need to meet in order to successfully acquire a dino and have it follow you around like a lost puppy. I want to talk about knockout taming first, since that's by far the most common taming method that you'll be required to use for a majority of the dinos on the arc. In order to understand knockout tames, you must first understand torpidity and how it affects creatures. Torpidity, simply put, is the amount of time it takes a creature to fall asleep from torpidity increasing attacks. Torpidity increasing attacks can be dealt with your fists, a club, any bow variant, and long neck rifles with their respective narcotic ammo. For example, the crossbow uses trank arrows to induce sleep in a creature, while the long neck rifle uses trank darts or shocking trank darts. The higher the attack value of the weapon you're using, the faster a creature will be knocked out. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Good. It's important to mention that knockout tames and passive tames are not interchangeable. You can't passively tame a creature that requires a knockout tame like the Rex and vice versa. Anyway, using the aforementioned equipment is the absolute first step in taming a dino via the knockout method. I personally recommend using a bow and trank arrows to tame a dino if you're in the beginning of your journey on the arc, since knocking things out with your fists or a club is very dangerous and will take a lot of time. Following my recommendation will require you to accumulate many, many narcotics, however, but trust me, it's worth it. I promise. Narcotics are crafted at a mortar and pestle or chemistry bench by combining five narco berries per spoiled meat. When you're first starting out on the arc, these resources can be difficult to come by, so make sure you're saving as many of them as possible to ensure easy access to taming materials when the time comes. If you're wondering what dinos you should tame, I have a video that's appearing on screen right now that you should watch if you're curious. So, you've gotten yourself a fair amount of narcotics. Make sure you combine a majority of those narcotics with arrows to make trank arrows. You have to be level 21 to unlock the trank arrow engram, so it's wise to make sure you have some engram points saved up to make sure you can do so. Please note, you should not use every bit of your narcotics to make trank arrows. You'll need some leftover narcotics to make sure your potential next best friend stays asleep while they're enduring the taming process. When you successfully knock out a dino, you have the ability to force feed them narcotics to keep them asleep. You do this simply by moving the narcotics to their inventory and pressing whatever button you use to eat. It's never a bad idea to force feed your tame too many narcotics. There's literally no downside to giving them too many narcotics, other than the fact that you'll need to make more narcotics for the next tame. Less is not more in this situation. Bring way more than you think you'll need. If you're having trouble staying alive while attempting to knock out a dino, consider making a trap for it. I make traps all the time for powerful dinos. It's a super safe way to start the taming process. Here's a simple trap I make that can contain most of the dinos that you'll want. Okay, great. So you have a dino knocked out. You've jammed a ton of narcotics down its throat to keep it asleep. Now you need to give it some food to increase the taming meter. Herbivores generally prefer medjo berries and carnivores generally prefer raw prime meat. Once you've put the dino's preferred food type in their inventory, you should see their taming meter change from put food in inventory to tame to taming 0.0%. When you see that change, the taming process has officially begun and you're well on your way to getting a dino. Note that the dino will only eat food in its inventory when its hunger meter has dropped below a certain level. It's different for every dino, but this is a useful bit of knowledge in case you're wondering why the taming meter hasn't been increasing for a while. Wonderful! We've covered knockout tames! If I've done my job right, you should have a good understanding of how knockout tames work. 
Passive tames are much simpler, but employ some similar ideas, so let's talk about them. As you progress through the arc, you'll find that there are dinos that require you to hand feed them their favorite food in order to tame them. These are passive tames. They're called passive tames because you don't have to deal any damage to the dino at all in order to tame it. We're going to use the Lystrosaurus as an example because you'll find them all over the place and they're a useful tame. The Lystrosaurus's favorite food is a rare flower, and since those are somewhat easy to come by, we'll be using those for this demonstration. If you don't have access to any rare flowers yet, medjulberries will work as well, it'll just take a bit longer to tame them. All you have to do is place the food you'll be using in the last slot of your hotbar, walk up to the dino, and press whatever button you use to eat. Much like the knockout method, these dinos won't eat any more food unless their hunger meter has depleted below a certain level. You'll just have to kind of follow them around, protect them from predators, and keep feeding them until they're tamed. I've only seen one passive tame that doesn't require you to put food in your hotbar, and that's the otter. The otter requires you to drag a fish to them and press the eat button when you're close enough. Other than that, passive tames are pretty straightforward and very simple. Fun fact! A Diplodocus is the only creature in Ark that can be tamed with both the knockout method and the passive method. Wow! Okay, so technically you can stop there and have a dino tamed via the knockout method, but since this video is covering everything you need to know about taming, I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't talk about taming effectiveness. Taming effectiveness is what determines how many levels your tame will gain after the taming process has been completed. Understand that this will not affect the time it takes to tame the dino in any way. To some people, this isn't important. But if you want to get every last bit of value out of your dino, then listen up. Taming effectiveness is very finicky and will drop quickly if you don't know what you're doing. Taming effectiveness always starts at 100% and decreases when the creature takes damage, or eats the food that's been left in its inventory. Each dino you tame will have a preferred kibble that will not only speed up the taming process greatly, but will also reward you with a much higher taming effectiveness. Before the kibble update, making kibble for dinos was an absolute nightmare, but now you can use one type of kibble for many dinos. I'll have a kibble tutorial coming up soon, so keep your eyes peeled for it if you want to know more about kibbles. If you have any questions about knockout tames, passive tames, which dinos to tame, or anything arc related, come ask me in my stream. I'm always happy to help. I stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8pm Central Time and would love to see you there. Thank you so much for your time today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and like the video if you found its contents helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.